What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your own time limit and your own uh, target score in the battlefield uh, portal mode. So once you get into your uh, game that you want to create and you get all the way down after you get past the, uh, the core game mode and you're doing your modifiers and then your weapons and you get down here to the rules editor you should um, you should have a mod and a rule already out I had added this earlier because we're going to be needing three of these so what we're going to do is go ahead and add these three on here now each rule dictates a certain command or action that's going to happen within the game and the mod that this mod block means that everything that's when it within this mod block something is going to uh, be changed in the game if it's not in this mod block it won't be affected inside the game so I already have it set up in this other game mode that I have going so we're just gonna do like a copy and paste kind of thing we're gonna be switching back from each screen so the first one is set score time limit we're not gonna uh, so what you would do is click on the block there it's highlighted set score time limit And then just make sure everything matches up as you're going through here. The event should be ongoing and global. Ongoing and global. That should be the rule for the first one. There is no condition in the first rule. Now global means it's going to affect the entire game. And our actions for the set score time limit is this. Enable the default game mode scoring, which is true. You want the default uh, scoring to be made, so one kill equals one point. I mean, it's counting towards tickets, especially for something like a TDM, which is what this game mode is. So to find this, as you can see, it's yellow. So yellow equals yellow. But the faster way to do it is this right here. So we enable. We want to enable default game mode scoring. So, enable default game mode scoring. I'm just going to snap that in place. Then, we want to find this Boolean. Which, if you click help, it's a true or false value. Which is green, so you're going to come down to the greens. Well, there's like a lot of greens. And if you come up here and you try to type in true or false and this doesn't come up so if you type in so what you need to do is come down here to the liberals this is where it's at even if you were to type in boolean it doesn't come up either so if you try to search it by true or false or boolean it won't come up but it is down here in liberals you're going to need three of these number ones, one for the time limit mode, one for the target score, and then one down here for each. This this block right here tells you that when, oh, this block right here tells you that when a player kills someone, they will add one point to the score. So, Come back over here, come to our literals. We know we're gonna need three numbers so we can duplicate this three times. We need to go back to our literals. We need one Boolean, and we want it to be set to true because we want to enable it. Then we are going to set the game mode limit and then game mode target score. So we're going to find both of those. Game mode. Set game mode time limit. Then game mode target score. Yeah, you can just snap and drag and everything will connect. As you can see, game mode time limit set to 900. Game mode target score set to 1000. 
It doesn't matter which order you have these in, but just for sakes and purposes, we are going to switch these two around. Our time limit, this is in seconds. So if we want it to be uh, six minutes, well, six times. <clears throat> six is 36, so we just needed to do 360 seconds, so that's six minutes. All right, and then we have our target score. Oops. And say we want them to do 500 tickets in six minutes, we set it to that. Now, we're gonna go to our second rule now. The second rule is increment the score. This right here tells us that we are going to increase the score by one point when a player kills another player. That's what the event will be called. So. Over here in the events, we're going to change the ongoing right here because it's not constantly happening like it, uh, this one is. This one right here that's watching the score and watching the time go down. We're going to click on it, go down on player earned kill. Double check on player earned kill. Make sure we change this to increment score. Then we want our condition. We're going to need two of these, so we're going to go ahead and go to rules. Conditions will always be tied in with the rules, always. So we're going to bring it over here. Duplicate it, go ahead and snap these into the condition spots right here. A condition means that certain things need to be met before the action happens. So, in our rule increment score, these at action actions need to be set but we need to set the mode score and then this all this info it will be calculated to increase it now our condition is not equal to which again we can search for not equal to Just attach it to the first block here see how those the yellow lines attach that's when you know it's going to snap into place. And then we're going to get the team ID and the event player. The one event player is the one who made, made the kill. Event other player is the one who got killed. And this right here shows that the event player is getting a point added to their team. That's what the add, the game, we're getting the game score seeing what it's currently at. We're getting which team this player is on and the team player's name and we're adding that point. That's what all this add up, adds up to. All right, we're gonna get team ID and get event player. This is, that's gonna be a lot of copy and pasting there. Get team ID, then event player. And then we also need event other player, we need one of those. Alright, so first team ID event player. Get team ID event player. Then get team ID other event player. So this right here, we can duplicate this. We can go ahead and drag that event player out. Get this and attach this into here. Now this first condition is done. Now our action is set game mode score. So we want to set game mode score right here. Add it into our action. Now get team ID and event player. So to copy and paste the whole thing, copy, duplicate, well duplicate it. And we'll just click and drag. Now See how it says one, two, three? That's where this one, two, three comes in. But we don't quite plug it in just yet. What we need to do is tell the game to add a point. We do that by coming over here. Doing add. This right here is a mathematical to, uh, a mathematical event. It's going to be adding our our uh, point that the player collects 
from killing the other player. So we're going to get the game mode score. So we're going to come back in here, get the game mode score. Make sure it goes into the first block. And then get the team ID and the event player. So we're going to duplicate this. Go ahead and add this to here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this block. Then this is where your number comes in. See? And we're going to set this to one. We only want the uh, player to get one point for each kill they collect. Now, for our no, for our last rule, it is going to be check when condition. Check when condition. Now the event is going to be on player killed earned, player earned kill. Same as the second one. Now our condition is this. When the game score equals the game limit score, what we're, our target score, what we're trying to reach, we're going to end the game. So we're going to get equals from our math section. But you go in and click on math. We already know what we're looking for. Should be in alphabetical order. But we, you can still go ahead and type so equals get game mode score, you get team ID, and get event player. That's the same exact little block we have up here, this little triple stack block. So, what we can do is click on this, see how all three are highlighted. We'll go ahead and duplicate that. And boom. We don't have to search all through here for each one of these blocks and drag them out. We already have it set up. All right. Nope, make sure our mod is attached. Trying to zoom in. All right. And then we want to get the game mode target score. We want to find out what the game mode target score is. Get game mode target score right here. Right here. Alright. Now the action is while we're getting the game mode target score, while each player racks up a kill, if the target score matches what we just reached in points for a certain team we're going to end the game mode so this it's in gameplay we are going to end the game mode it's right here underneath the game mode but you can still type for it just type in end game mode and drop it in your actions underneath your condition then we're going to get the team id and the event player so, Event player is the player who got the last kill or the kill within that time. The event is what causes the event to happen. And then the other player is obviously the one who got killed uh, during the gameplay. So, let's duplicate that again. Boom. And then we have it all here. Now these rules set score time limit, increment score, check win condition. These right here are just little notes for you. So now if you want to go back in and adjust these later, once you get a better understanding of everything, um, <clears throat> you know what each rule is. They're just little uh, notes for you to know what each little rule is doing within the game. Now remember, make sure everything that you want to change in the game is within this mod block. Make sure everything's set up correctly. You can change these numbers to whatever you want them to be. Uh, I know the default target score is 100. I'm not 100% positive what the time mode, time mode limit is, but you should be able to uh, affect those with no issue. 
And I haven't messed with the uh, points. That's what this is right here, the increment score. I haven't messed with this in my game modes to see if maybe if you put it up to two or three, if once you get a kill, the score that you're trying to reach will be incremented by two. Basically, whenever I kill someone in the game, instead of getting one point towards a goal of, in this case, 500, I'd get two if you set it to two, 10 if you set it to 10, Families in them, so yeah. Saying that's two or ten or even fifty, but yeah, it's wh whichever you want to set it up at. But I haven't changed that over here in mine. All right. So when you're done, oh, I got them separated. Ah, I'm gonna save this. This thing's mine, we can go ahead and close it out of the way. But when you're done, all you want to do is hit save. You will need to name it, you need to uh, describe it, and then you're good to go. And you will be able to hit create. So what we're actually gonna do is go ahead and close this back out. We already have this set, we're gonna go into here. I'm gonna do a free for all one. We're gonna do a couple maps, a couple small maps. Kind of throw some random ones in here. And since it's a free for all, yeah, let's go ahead and just max it out. Yeah, see right here. Once I got above 64, it says player counts above 64 are not available on some platforms. We're gonna go to gameplay. This right here, you can change all of these settings. We're going to go ahead and keep all these the same. We're just going to power through all these real fast. Then it's going to come down to the code. Which, after you've set everything that you want to set and all your other changes, you have your uh, restrictions to your teams. Uh, let's go ahead and do 2042. And we'll go into our characters. We want all of our characters, weapons. Attachments, vehicles. I'm just powering through all this. Now, once you get to the end, you can uh, before you get to rules editor, you can go ahead and click finish. But since we've made rules, we don't want to hit finish. Then this is if you start from beginning to end and not jump straight to rules editor. Go so hit save. Free for all. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we're gonna <coughs> do 500 ticket game. We're gonna create it. It's a valid experience, but it's not available on all platforms. And then you can delete these tags. But these tags tell people whenever they join the portal, portal servers what your uh, game mode has changed. And this code right here will let you copy it and then you'll be able to implement it into the game and even share it if you like. You can even duplicate it or delete it. Yep, that is it. Thanks again for stopping. Uh, a little bit longer than what I wanted to, so skip around in the video if you want. And I'll see you on the next one.